Hello world, we are anonymous. What we've always feared, and also secretly known, has now become reality. The U.S. intelligence agencies eavesdrop on not only their domestic communications, they also take the right to listen to the entire global internet communications. This process is legitimized by laws that were never intended for this purpose. There is no independent control of these activities. Instead, this spying is kept secret and is being denied. All this is justified, with the wear on terror, as always. The governments of the US and Europe are trying to stir up their citizens' fear, to create a totalitarian surveillance state. They put all of us under suspicion and capture, store and process every detail of our private lives. Our whole life can be reconstructed, with the help of this data. We're no longer innocent until proven guilty. Instead, all citizens are suspected to be potential terrorists. We also do not know what happens to this data. It is likely that they store our data in huge, indelible bunkers, so in years or even decades, the authoritarian regimes in the Western world can use it against their own people. Every teenage shenanigans, any thoughtless comment one makes, could be fatal. People are already denied entry into the US, because of jokes in social media. What country kind of country is so afraid of ordinary citizens who have absolutely nothing evil on their minds? The danger of a police state, following the example of George Orwell's 1984, is more realistic and touchable than ever. Almost all conspiracy theories have now been proven to be true and it is assumed that this is just the tip of the iceberg. Almost every dinny details come up, so the true extent of government surveillance can only be guessed. You use social media like Facebook. You possess an iPhone, a Windows computer and use the Google services. Then you are also a victim of US intelligence agencies and are still getting spit upon. Even the services of YouTube are monitored by the NSA. And that's just what we've got to know by now. But what we certainly know is, that governments worldwide intrude on the privacy of all of their citizens. And hardly anybody knows what level these human rights violations actually have. A government must protect its citizens and represent their interests, not lie to them, track them and monitor each and every move they make. That's why we say, this far and no further. If we do not defend ourselves now, we give these criminals exactly the legitimacy they need to further advance their plans. If we do not defend ourselves, then we must face the future generations and explain to them, why have we allowed these anti-democratic tendencies? If we still get the chance to. That's why we ask you, march against the surveillance state on August 31, 2013. Organize protests and paper storms and tell us about your plans. Tell your family, friends and neighbors about it. It's about our all rights of liberty and privacy. Let us all, the people, stand together. We are anonymous. We are legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us.